Good morning YouTube and welcome back to the garage. Today we're going to do part three in a series of Steiner tractor attachments. On the front of the 430 we have the RS350 rotary sweeper. And this is probably the attachment that I use the most. Uh, it is truly at least a three season, sometimes four seasons attachment. I use it in the winter for clearing snow, anything under six inches. Use it in the fall and spring for dethatching and sweeping leaves. And you can even use it in the summer clearing your driveway or even sleeping your garage floor if you want to. So we're gonna cover some of the specs of it. This is one of two sweepers that Steiner offers. Just like all Steiner attachments, it's gonna go on the fast hitch system, so it's gonna slide and lock on. Uh, this sweeper does have hydraulic angle, which again is gonna be used by your auxiliary ports, which hook up right here. And then it has hydraulic lift up and down. The sweeper itself is 54 inches wide for the clear path. To get the correct ground engagement or speed for sweeping, uh, you're going to want to run, or Steiner recommends, about 3,200 RPM on your tack. Uh, I've actually found about 3,500 works the best, especially for snow. Some things to note and why I went with the RS350 and not with the RS454 is Steiner does not recommend the 454 sweeper for dethatching. And I do use this for dethatching. It works really good. Um, this is a belt-driven unit. Whereas the RS-454 is a hydraulically driven unit. It has its own pump, it has its own hydraulic reservoir, and the belt that drives down here runs a pump that's over here that flows fluid into a hydraulically driven motor mounted on the side, and that will spin. Uh, some of the advantages, though, of the RS-454 is it is reversible. The 350, which you see here, is not reversible. It'll only sweep one way, it'll push material this way. Whereas a 454, you can reverse it. You would be able to pull up and you could pull snow or dirt or debris away from maybe the entrance of a business, something like that. Like I said, I did want to use it for dethatching. And so that's why I went with the RS350. The issue with the 454 for dethatching is the hydraulic fluid will heat up very quickly. Um, it will break down the fluid and it will begin to slip. Also, the revolutions is a slower speed, so it's not going to actually move the grass out of the way as well. So that's why I went with the 350. Um, all in all, absolutely amazing attachment. Like I said, the one I use the most, I pretty much leave it on the tractor unless I'm mowing in the summertime. And I'll even use it when we're done mowing, we'll go and sweep up the driveway, take all the grass shavings off and, and it works on sidewalks, it works in grass, I mean, you can use it on all types of different terrain. If you need to move rock, if you had uh, a guy at a flooded driveway, you can go and sweep the rock that it had washed onto the driveway right back off. So, on all, a great attachment. All right, so with the sweeper disconnected from the tractor, I wanted to show you real quick how this works. So, obviously, it slides and locks onto the tractor right here and right here. So, the belt's going to come off of the drive from the motor. It's going to spin a double pulley here. So it's going to spin this pulley and then it spins another pulley behind it, which drives a belt that comes down and goes around a pulley that's on the bottom of this gearbox. So it'll spin that pulley. That transfers the power up into this gearbox, which moves it through a drive shaft and brings it out to the back side of the gear case. Inside this case right here, There'll be a gear here, and then there'll be a gear here, and there's actually a chain that drives this. This port right here, you can pop that off, and that allows you to spray uh, chain lube onto the chain. And then you'll be able to, obviously, make sure your chain doesn't break or have any issues in the future. So that's how the drive mechanism works. It goes belt to pulley, pulley to another belt, into a pulley at the bottom of the gearbox, out to the drive shaft. It is shaft driven. Now, I have had many situations where the sweeper itself will continue to spin and you'll hit a pile, big pile of rocks or something and it will actually stall the motor. So you never need to worry about uh, these belts slipping. They will stall the motor before you would have to worry that you wouldn't be able to push something. Also, something very, very important about these sweepers is how you store them. So you always want to store the sweeper off of the bristles. 
To do that with the Steiners, all you need to do is make sure that your caster wheels are turned forward. Once your caster wheels are turned forward, it's very simple to do. It's actually balanced on a pivot point. You can just press down one hand and it's gonna rest like that and that's gonna flip your brush up. You do not want those bristles to rest on that concrete or the surface. What happens is, is these bristles over time will compress from the weight and it'll create a flat spot. And you'll be able to see a sweeper that has been stored like that because it'll literally bounce. As it's going down, every time it hits that flat spot, it'll bounce. When it hits that flat spot, it's not sweeping that part of the material away on the concrete, asphalt, whatever. And also it's gonna cause this hopping motion. It's gonna create more wear on the bristles and it's gonna actually cause them to wear down much faster than it normally would. What happens is once these get a really bad flat spot, there's nothing you can do about it but replace the brush. So I've seen used ones on the market and they're pretty much useless. You have to replace the brush. You can get aftermarket brushes. They're about $310 plus shipping. A new Stein original brush, you're looking at about $500. If you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments. I'll try to get them answered. If you like what you see, click subscribe. Thanks for stopping in the garage again. And until next time, at the garage.